Robots, they're coming for our jobs, right? Well, the truth is, the sooner the better. Robots will be critical for boosting productivity in future years, and that's the only way that our living standards will grow. But the pace of robot adoption varies widely from country to country. No surprise, counting robots as a share of manufacturing workers, you find lots of them in advanced economies like South Korea, Singapore, and Germany, and not very many in developing economies like Brazil and India. But that's not the real story because robots cost money and it makes sense to install more of them in economies with high wages because they pay for themselves more quickly that way. So to see how countries are really doing, you have to control for wage levels. That paints a different picture. Compared to what you'd expect, Korea and Singapore still lead and India and Brazil are still behind. But look what happens to the advanced Western economies compared to the developing economies of Southeast Asia. Asia is far ahead, and Europe, the United States, and the Commonwealth nations are way off the pace. China in particular stands out. It gives its companies massive subsidies to afford to buy robots. And so based on current trends, we project it will lead the world in less than a decade in robot adoption, controlling for wage levels. So what should Europe and America do? I'd suggest three things. First, countries need to let companies write off investments in robots more quickly for tax purposes. That makes robots cheaper. Second, countries need to expand the programs they have to help small manufacturers automate, especially with robotics. And finally, all societies need to encourage and embrace robot adoption, not see robots as the terminator. We shouldn't let fear of job loss get in the way of adopting robots because the evidence is clear. Robots make economies more competitive so they can grow and that creates jobs.